Not much had changed. He hadn't learned how to hug, and she hadn't learned not to force herself upon him. Emma's face heated. Good grief, they weren't children anymore. What must he think of her, throwing herself at him like that? Probably that she hadn't matured a bit in the past decade. Still the same, leap first, look later girl she'd always been. Emma released him at once and took a couple steps back, covering her embarrassment with a chuckle. Sorry, guess I got a little carried away. She glanced up at him and got her first true glimpse of the man Malachi had become. Oh my. In her excitement to see him, she hadn't actually seen him. If she had, she'd probably still be glued to the porch, clinging to the railing for support. It's good to see you, Emma. His voice resonated with a masculine depth, far removed from that of the boy she remembered. He pulled off his hat and fidgeted with the brim. You're looking, well. And you're much taller than the last time I saw you, and had broader shoulders, a more muscled chest, and the bearing of a man unafraid to face whatever challenge fate threw at him. Yet he just stood there, staring at everything except her. His gaze flitted toward her in haphazard patterns, like a nervous bumblebee that couldn't decide whether to land or not. The silence stretched. Why couldn't she think of anything to say? She'd never been at a loss for words around him when they were young. Of course, he hadn't looked like a rugged outlaw then. An extremely handsome outlaw, with a gun on his hip, brown hair hanging past his collar, whiskers shadowing his jaw. Good gracious. Her heart was pounding so hard against her ribs, she feared he would hear it if she didn't fill the silence with something, anything. I've missed you. Emma inwardly cringed. All right, maybe not anything, and definitely not something spoken in that breathy voice that sounded nothing like her usual take-charge self. His gaze locked onto hers, though, and all regret flew from her mind. For the briefest moment, she could have sworn she saw longing in his dark eyes. But then he cocked a half grin at her and looked up toward the heavens, the way he used to do when she would pester him with too much jabbering. Seems you haven't changed much, Emma. Still getting into trouble. Oh, she was in trouble, all right, but not because of the shooter targeting her town. Nope, her real trouble had just arrived.